everybody and welcome back to my page maddie vlogs and does do i look extremely overweight do you guys see the my face <laughs> my fat self well i don't care i've been gaining weight but i also want to lose a little bit more and i changed my hair you guys but that's not the reason why i'm doing this video this is supposed to be a family dollar haul <laughs> Um, I think you can see the lightning on my glasses, but my eye has been hurting so much lately. It's ridiculous. You guys are going to see Victoria roaming around because I have my lights, my LED light, the new one that I bought, which I, where did I get it? I think I got it at Best Buy. No, I ordered it on Amazon. It's like connected. It's hooked on to her tree house. Oh, there she goes. See that? And yes, this is my mess in the background. I'm still living in a room. But um, I just wanted to show you guys a family dollar haul. And I must be out of my freaking mind because my my the uh the, the coupons that you get from Family Dollar. I never used to, I, w I was wasn't clipping my coupons at all. So you know how you can go on there, clip your coupons, Family Dollar, download the app. I wasn't doing any of that. I mean, I must, out of my mind. But now I have the app all this time for like three, four years, going to Family Dollar, having a Family Dollar account, and never used to clip the coupons. And I buy enough things that I should get at least, you know, 10 to $15 off of anything that they have, which is ridiculous. And get my points, you know? Anyway. So I, I bought, ooh, I bought two of these for the price of one or two, two for, for eight. So I bought, so instead of paying four fifty for each, I bought two for $8. So, um, this is the Swiffer. You guys, I tried, I'm going to clean the broom and give the broom to one of my, um, I guess you can say my roommates because i refuse to go back like once you go swiffer even though this one is not the name brand one victoria broke the last one that i had but once you go swiffer anything wet jet anything i don't feel like you can ever go back especially because it grabs on to so much dirt and you don't have to deal with so many chemicals because the wet paper comes wet by itself so anyway i bought two of these these are the heavy duty um it's called the Sweeper Dry Heavy Duty Dry Sweeping Cloths. I bought two of these for eight bucks. I need it because Victoria's hair is always everywhere, right? Right, Nana? Yes? Yes. Okay. Then I bought two of these. These are a dollar each. These are the garbage bags that I got. Then I bought these essential oils. If you go over to my Instagram, well, by the time you guys upload this video, I'm going to do like a small little video on my Instagram and I'm going to show you guys how you can manifest with these. My whole thing or my whole goal on my page in my spiritual aspect of my page is to show you guys ways where you guys can be spiritual and I have a ridiculous altar and not be bombarded with so many things. So look at Victoria laying on the ground. Right, mama? You listening to mommy? She's perfect. <laughs> um and have so many not 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 because they're ridiculous but because once you get a hold of your magic your ideas what you want what you don't want it becomes easier for you to know how to manifest and it manif you manifest things quicker you know um clearly things like debt and and finances is a little bit um complicated because people that look outside of the box and they're like oh meaning like christians or like religious people that look at spiritual channels they're like oh well you guys are supposed to be witches you guys are supposed to manifest things quicker etc 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 but that's not the case you have to heal otherwise whatever energy you're storing or whatever energy you have is gonna get you know it, it, it'll be worse for you and that's not something that you want because whatever energy you have here and whatever energy you're putting up is going to come back. So if you're filthy in here and your chakras are not aligned and you're, they're not rolling in um, balanced way, you know, they're not circling themselves in a balanced way. For example, if your chakras are balanced, are, are um, circling too, too much, too quickly, that means you're giving off of whatever chakra that is, that's too much. Whatever too much is, is, is isn't good at all. Um, even if it's love, if you're giving too much love and it's not balanced out and it's not being reciprocated, it's a, it becomes an issue. 
that's that's real life that's the secret of everything but i'll show you guys um i'm gonna use one of the wigs i bought this one oh and also i i take all of my bags so even though i buy my kitchen um bags or whatever i keep these and i use these because i go through garbage like like it's nothing like i just took out a whole box because I, I brought myself some crocs i'll show you guys my crocs so i had bought myself some some crocs or whatever and i had a whole box of just shoes and things that i had ordered for myself full of garbage full of nothing but garbage that's that's me so i keep these um but i was telling you guys let me see what else did i get i bought this one and i think this one this other one i thought i took the cinnamon one but i guess not so i took these two and this is also something that i got off of um, the coupon so i got the vanilla pink papaya and i got the hawaii exotic papaya and hibiscus flower hibiscus you guys if for example hibiscus is used if you want to become fertile um you can drink yourself some hibiscus juice um or or like hibiscus flowers herbs whatever anything hibiscus is used to to accelerate or procreate or create so if you want to create prosperity you can use hibiscus um this is what i'm creating for myself and as a matter of fact it's been working for me i intake things i feed my spirits like this with perfume i intake i don't have any altars what i have is my crystals and the same um candle that i've had for a very long time but i haven't been burning my candles because we don't have the central air that we used to have in this house if you guys hear any noise in the background that's victoria um so i've been using this the same candle for a long time my instances and stuff so when you don't want to purchase incense your partner for example isn't um all the way there with you being spiritual get yourself one of these and you head on over to my instagram by the time i upload this video you guys will see how um i i use this in magic this is just the way i do things and it's been working for me so hopefully it works for you guys um again i bought myself the wet dry um sweeper and it's also a mop at the same time it's just easy you clean i don't even need a dustpan i just take whatever i i whatever paper towel or whatever um uh one of these whatever the, the dry sweepers um are i take it i take the dirt and put it in a bag that's it with my gloves on of course but i can never go wrong so you got oh this one i think it cost eight dollars or 8.99 something like that or 12.99 something like something or the rather um my dolly ranchers i love taking these especially when i do uber and my mouth gets dry and i don't want to eat too much or i probably walk around um eating a yogurt or something i or or i feel like my mouth is yeah, again totally dry i love these so i needed an extra pack um these are fantastic for snacking on i don't i wanted to go do uber today but i don't think i'm gonna do it because i want to be able to focus and upload as many videos as i can and then all of next week do the uber tomorrow i'm gonna do uber as well um so turkey and um american cheese with crackers on oreo is my favorite sometimes i get the ones with the juice sometimes i don't it family dollar they have these for two bucks can't go wrong i got myself some half and half milk i prefer the half and half milk even though I, a lot of people say that it's fattening but i prefer it i bought myself some panties you guys everybody is always talking about oh maddie uh you don't per you know purchase panties at um aries anymore victoria's secret this and that I go through panties like water. I'm always walking around. I'm always going somewhere. So I don't. I'm not gonna be wasting a ridiculous amount of money. Even though some some of them are like seven for twenty five bucks, but I get these four for five dollars. So I'm basically getting them for a dollar, you know. And I'm still saving myself, especially saving myself some money, especially when when your menstrual cycle comes around. I do not clean. If it if it gets dirty, I don't clean my my panties. I just throw them out. If they get dirty, that's it. Done finito it's over um i also got myself some fabuloso disinfecting wipes again you guys i live with my cat sometimes she roams the third floor which is not that big but you always have to you know clean after myself and, and her as well if you come into my room my room does not smell like there's an animal in here at all because i always keep it tidy and organized um i bought myself some maple uh brown sugar um quaker oats these are fantastic I always tell you guys they save you money 
and they also fill you up for the day so this is fantastic for me i'm gonna take those and leave them at work then i bought myself my oatmeal cream pies these i can never go wrong these are great for snacks again i keep my my bag and then what else did i get oh i victoria yes and this i got at the at the dollar store even though victoria has uh an account with um petco and PetSmart and all of them good places um I still get her stuff from the Family Dollar. The only thing that I don't get her from there is the wet foods and her mousses. I get that from Petco. So I got the Purina Cat Chow Naturals with added vitamins, minerals, and nutrients. And this is the real chicken and also made with real salmon. So chicken and salmon flavor. Um, this is great. I, for two weeks, I was leaving with Tori a little bit more food than I was supposed to um so she was like throwing up and i was like oh my gosh what's going on with my cat i would give you guys a word of advice because somebody gave me this advice and it actually worked it coated her stomach i didn't have to take her immediately to the vet so um i took a can of um tuna fish and i gave it to her and i was still feeding her a little bit of this and of course i like lowered the, the amount of food that i um that i leave for her so two scoops a day perfect two scoops of this stuff a day like big scoops like you see them the big um uh spoons that i have up there like two scoops of that per day and it'll last her like either the entire day or a day and a half and she should be good with that and this way she doesn't get nervous because i realized after quarantining and after i started doing uber eats again i left my amazon job as you guys should know if you guys have been watching um she's been getting anxiety if she sees that I don't get home after a certain time. So if I'm not home by like 10, I don't know how she knows that, she'll start meowing. Like my neighbors will always tell me, like my, my landlord will be like, oh, I heard Victoria meowing, or she'll be next to the window waiting for mommy to get home, you know? And I, I leave my, my house at like no later than 525 every day. So she really does get anxiety. It gives her a lot of anxiety. I don't do Uber Eats every day, but um, the days that I do do it, if I'm going from work to do Uber Eats, it causes her a lot of anxiety. This week, um, the days that I have off, I won't be able to do them either Friday or Saturday, even though I do have an update of videos in regards to what I've been doing with Uber Eats and how much I've made, etc. Um, I'm gonna, after this video, I'll do a video uh, for Uber um the next week i won't be able to do it because i have to go deal with things with my car i do have updates about that which are very positive yes i'm very excited um things are working out things are working out for me slowly but surely doing things i can't say on my own per se because i do have help like my cousins my mom my dad like my close friends i have a very small circle ever since like two years ago i have very small very tiny teeny teeny tiny circle and i'm fine with that and if i meet people along the way i'm grateful for meeting them and the ones that are you know no longer with me or no longer in my journey due to my past relationship and the fact that i was not paying attention to what they were telling me um which happened to be totally realistic um i do miss them i miss talking to them i miss picking up the phone but I'm not a toxic person even though some people probably feel like i am toxic i'm not i'm not a toxic person so sometimes you have to leave people where they are and send them all the love and blessings that sh no matter like how bad or good things ended you gotta kind of like send them all the good vibes and they'll feel it you know they'll feel it just because you were best as a friends before and something happened doesn't mean that you have to continue to be best as a friends especially if i know i was the root of the situation and i was the root of the problem so therefore I have to let them be in peace, you know? Um, but I, I, again, I can't say that I'm doing everything on my own, but I'm doing everything independently, I should say. Because even though you're independent doesn't mean you're doing things on your own, but I am doing things independently and I'm growing up to be a very good independent person. <laughs> Crying, kicking and screaming every step of the way, but I'm making it. And last but not least, you guys, I bought these little bottles of water. I, I used to buy the bigger ones, and they were, like, this big. Um, and um, I think they, it's, like, some sort of alkaline water, and they sell it for, like, a dollar. I can't buy those anymore because I want to keep my water in my fridge, <laughs> in my small little fridge that's right here. Um, and...
and then or in my refrigerator whatever um and it's easier for me it's just easier and i think these bottles or these small little bottles um i don't know if i should recycle them or what i'm gonna ask my coworker because i know he likes to take cans and stuff but i'm gonna i'm gonna see if he wants to take plastic bottles i'm, I'm not quite sure but anyway i will see you guys in the next video please continue to water your life and i love you all very much bye guys